questions, weather related only, and answers them with his excellent expertise. So Andrew, what are we asking you about this week? So this week it's actually a little bit more involved with physics, so you may have to read the article a little bit later before GMQC at 11 to understand this, but I'm going to go through it really quickly here. And it's a great question submitted by Mike in Davenport. So since the Earth spins at about a thousand miles per hour, why doesn't it create a constant high wind speed here at ground level? Great question. So let's go through this. One thing to remember is as the Earth is rotating, the actual atmosphere is being dragged along with it. It is also rotating. And a good example of this too is if I stand right here and jump, you notice I don't move to the left or to the right. Also, if you were to be driving in your car, have your sunroof open, and while you're driving, you throw a tennis ball in the air, guess what? It's gonna come back down and land as you're moving with it because that ball is of course moving with you as you throw it up. So what happens is it's the Coriolis effect that plays a big role in this because the air is not always moving in just one direction. It really depends on the temperature spread across the entire Earth. These are the predominant wind directions as you go from north to south from the equator, and that's what really plays a big role in this and why we don't see those extreme winds constantly here at the surface of the Earth at ground level. Yeah, it's a little confusing, so go check it out on WQAD.com. Just before GMQC at 11, I'll have it there. Search for Ask Andrew and you'll see today's answer. We'll have more GMQC right after this.